In the face of life's obstacles, Stoicism offers us invaluable insights on resilience, fortitude, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. To be like the rock that the waves keep crashing over. It stands unmoved, and the raging of the sea falls still around it. It's unfortunate that this has happened. No. It's fortunate that this has happened, and I've remained unharmed by it, not shattered by the present or frightened of the future. It could have happened to anyone, but not everyone could have remained unharmed by it. Why treat the one as a misfortune rather than the other as fortunate? Can you really call something a misfortune that doesn't violate human nature? Or do you think something that's not against nature's will can violate it? But you know what its will is. Does what's happened keep you from acting with justice, generosity, self-control, sanity, prudence, honesty, humility, straightforwardness, and all the other qualities that allow a person's nature to fulfil itself? So remember this principle when something threatens to cause you pain. The thing itself was no misfortune at all. To endure it and prevail is great good fortune. Subscribe, like, share. Welcome, dear friends, to another exploration of Stoic wisdom drawn from the timeless reflections of Marcus Aurelius' Meditations. The intertwined principles of adversity as an intrinsic aspect of nature and the transformative power found in overcoming challenges will stand as our premise for today. By the end of this video, we hope for a more enlightened view and see adversity in its true form, an opportunity for cultivating resilience. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that just as nature effortlessly adapts to obstacles, so too can we navigate the hurdles of life with resilience and determination. He stresses that setbacks are not roadblocks, but opportunities for growth and transformation. As he eloquently puts it, we have various abilities, present in all rational creatures, as in the nature of rationality itself, and this is one of them. Just as nature takes every obstacle, every impediment, and works around it, turns it to its purposes, incorporates it into itself, so too a rational being can turn each setback into raw material and use it to achieve its goal. In the face of adversity, Stoicism advises us to persevere, to view obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as stepping stones on the path to personal development. The impediment to action advances action, Marcus Aurelius reminds us. What stands in the way becomes the way. These words echo the Stoic principle of embracing obstacles as opportunities for growth, transforming adversity into a catalyst for progress. Persevere then, until you shall have made these things your own, as the stomach that is strengthened makes all things its own, as the blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything that is thrown into it. Endurance and fortitude, or mental toughness, these are the virtues that flourish in the crucible of adversity. Marcus Aurelius urges us to persevere, to weather the storms of life with unwavering resolve. He analogizes the strength gained from perseverance in overcoming challenges to the steadfastness of a blazing fire. Central to the Stoic philosophy is the recognition that our perception shapes our reality. If you are distressed by anything external, Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a mindset of resilience, to be like the rock that withstands the crashing waves, unmoved by the tumultuous sea. Don't let your imagination be crushed by life as a whole. Don't try to picture everything bad that could possibly happen. Stick with the situation at hand and ask, why is this so unbearable? Why can't I endure it? You'll be embarrassed to answer. Then remind yourself that the past and future have no power over you, only the present, and even that can be minimized. Just mark off its limits. Stoic Advice Practice Resourcefulness Stoicism encourages us to be resourceful and adapt to any circumstance with resilience and courage. With fortitude paired with endurance, adversity is no longer an obstacle, but rather an opportunity for resourcefulness and growth. When faced with challenges, we can harness our inner strength and creativity to endure obstacles and emerge stronger than before. Solitude a tactical retreat. Amidst adversity, moments of solitude offer us the opportunity to reflect on our experiences, gather our thoughts, and emerge with greater resilience. 
Solitude serves as a strategic retreat in our journey of mental toughness or fortitude, providing us with the space and clarity needed to face challenges with renewed strength. It begets a state of calmness to allow us to view adversity with a clear disposition and with reason. You can retreat, but never lose contact. While enduring hardships, maintaining a sense of agency and responsibility is crucial. As we navigate the path to fortitude and endurance, we must adapt to circumstances without compromising our commitment to virtue. Stoicism teaches us to approach adversity with a steadfast resolve, acknowledging that while we may retreat momentarily, we never lose sight of our values and principles. By maintaining our sense of agency, we can navigate challenges with integrity and strength of character. Compare yourself only to yourself yesterday. Stoicism encourages self-reflection and self-improvement as we pursue the path to fortitude and endurance. Rather than comparing ourselves to others, we focus on personal growth and progress, striving to become better versions of ourselves each day. By comparing ourselves only to our past selves, we can gauge our progress and strive for continuous improvement. Through self-reflection, we cultivate resilience and inner strength, enabling us to overcome adversity with grace and determination. Be careful who you listen to. We should exercise discernment in selecting whom to listen to, but this doesn't mean shutting out all voices. Remain open to diverse perspectives and information. Listen to everything. Believe everything. While that may appear contradictory, embracing differing viewpoints allows us to refine our understanding and eventually strengthen our ability to discern actions aligned with our virtues. Yes, we can surround ourselves with positive influences and seek wisdom from trusted sources to strengthen our resilience and resolve. However, closing our ears to detractors may be the biggest mistake we will ever commit. We can only achieve a clearer perspective if we immerse ourselves in all sorts of differing viewpoints. Then, and only then, we can be discerning. On the other hand, we must also be mindful of our speech, for we do not know who could be listening to us. Epictetus warns us against this, stating, If a person gave away your body to some passerby, you'd be furious, yet you hand over your mind to anyone who comes along. And importantly, do not give a fool a chance to disrespect truth. Our Lord Jesus Christ warns, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. Respectfully and sincerely, seek permission before offering advice. If it's not welcomed, honour that choice. Exercise. Voluntary Hardships. Voluntarily embracing hardships is a cornerstone of developing endurance, fortitude and mental toughness. By subjecting ourselves to discomfort, we build resilience and fortitude, preparing ourselves to endure life's inevitable challenges with strength and grace. Embracing voluntary hardships trains our minds to confront adversity head-on and emerge stronger from life's trials. Through voluntary hardships, we cultivate resilience and fortitude, enabling us to face challenges with courage and determination. To be like the rock that the waves keep crashing over, it stands unmoved and the raging of the sea falls still around it. So remember this principle when something threatens to cause you pain. The thing itself was no misfortune at all. To endure it and prevail is great good fortune. As we navigate the ebb and flow of life, let us heed the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the Stoic sages who came before us. Adversity is not a curse, but a natural aspect of existence, an opportunity for growth, resilience and inner strength. By embracing challenges with fortitude and perseverance, we transform obstacles into pathways to greatness. May we draw inspiration from the timeless teachings of Stoicism as we face life's trials with courage and grace. Until next time, be kind, be resilient, and may your virtues illuminate your path and many others ahead. See you in the next one. Subscribe, like, share.